Okay. So yeah, great. All right. So yeah. yeah, so you look fantastic. Did you have your hair cut first? Yeah, I was sitting at home. I wanted to shave my head. <laughs> Unfortunately, I didn't have a machine and there was nobody to take uh, to take it from. So I just got my bangs. <laughs> you know, I just you know. You just felt just like decided. this is the new you. Time for a complete change. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> something like that. Yeah. So just want to share everything what happened to me. It was very unexpected somehow. I had a very positive like feeling about everything. Can we, and... can we, can we start in the beginning? Yeah. Can yes, I, yes. I, I'll do yeah, the introduction yeah, yeah, and just, everything. Yeah, just, All just right, do let's everything. Do it. Sure. Yeah. Okay. So I'm Robito, the traveling hypnotherapist and I help heal with hypnosis. I'm back with Eugenia or Eugenia. 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 <laughs> and we did, um, so we did another session, a second session four days ago on the 12th of January. And it was my first ever online session. And I had uh, my second one yesterday went really well. And I've got another one tomorrow. So it's looking good. But um, yeah, it was a really interesting session with really interesting results, which we're going to talk <laughs> about now. So I'm super excited to be talking to you today. And um, but before we go into the end and what happened at the end, let, can we start by just starting at the beginning? Yeah, sure. So, sure. Um, so the first thing was that, well, I wanted to share my screen just quickly. That's why mm -hmm. I was just trying a second ago. And I just wanted to show you, not this bit just yet, but this bit here. Can you see that uh, brainwave pattern? Yeah. Yeah, so I just took this from Google Images. It's not mine. So I apologize for down here. It says wisdom instead of wisdom. But we, <laughs> we, we talked about this before, that basically forgetting the gamma states, because that's a whole different section, normally a kind of a whole different area. When we're thinking, we're normally in that beta state. Okay, that's the state where we're thinking, we're analyzing, we're critiquing. And when we go into hypnosis, we're starting to go down. The more that you go into hypnosis, the deeper you go, the more you go into alpha and theta and delta. That first session that you did with me here at the hostel, you went really deep. Yeah. <laughs> cleared out a lot of stuff. And anyone who's interested can check out uh, Eugenia's first testimonial video where we talk about that. Uh, in this session, it was a bit different. So especially in the first, uh, in the beginning. So you went into the alpha and then not as deep as last time. But the reason I'm explaining this is because all of this, the alpha, the theta and the delta, this whole area is the hypnosis. Okay, so one of the reasons why you went into the alpha state and you were slipping in and out of, I would say kind of in the first session between the theta and the delta and the second yeah. session more between the alpha and the theta, because you were, you were having um, uh, uh, visual experiences. You felt your intuition, which is definitely, in state, definitely. But yeah, as you said, you know, it wasn't as intense. The alpha the, or it wasn't as dreamlike, perhaps, as deep. The alpha state is still perfect for um, stopping smoking, for kind of going into the uh, going into the subconscious and making changes. So we can still work in that alpha theta state. The reason I'm telling you this, Eugenia, is because look at this. I went to the American International Association of Hypnosis manual page 180 was one of the okay. things that was happening is your cat was jumping on your <laughs> it was jumping all around me which wasn't helping for you to go deeper 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 no. and then we were saying afterwards that maybe the cat was attracted to that alpha state you know and this bit is actually about the alpha going into the alpha it says if you at the top uh, the first uh, so you here. Animals. Yeah, if you own any animals, you may already realize that animals, in addition to living in the alpha state, 
they become annoyed with us when we're living in the beta state. And then down here, this bit's the interesting bit. So, so on a, yeah, on a similar note, I'll just read it for the people that are watching. Yeah, now. Please. <laughs> yeah on a similar note, it's interesting to realize that if you were to relax in your home or bring yourself into a hypnotic state, that the same animals will be attracted to you. This is in the alpha state. They'll be attracted to you. Um, and in most cases, when you emerge from hypnosis, you will find them sitting or sleeping on top of you. This is one of the main reasons why we ask people to have any animals outside of the room they're being hypnotized in. <laughs> hypnosis or re relaxation seems to react as a magnet to animals. Yeah. All right, I'll stop sharing. Yeah. So that's well, what we experienced, right? <laughs> yeah, because look at this. One is sleeping, one is sleeping over there. Another one is sitting in front of the window, chilling, and they're very calm. But I was just like, you know, I knew, like, I kind of knew that it wouldn't happen because I, I don't have doors. I just have one door here uh, in the room. But if I close the cat there, they will just like, you know, <laughs> it's going to be a mess. They're going to start scratching, meowing. They're going to like, you know, making a lot of noise. So to close them was just not possible in any way. So I just couldn't get rid of them. But like, she was like a magnet. She was jumping all around. She tried to sit on my lap and she was trying, like she do, was doing this, you know? Yeah, and you said and that normally she's not like that, right? Yeah, I mean, I mean, she does, but mm, like whenever I'm, I mean, she does it in a particular, they both do it in particular uh, daytimes, you know, like in the evening or very early in the morning when I wake up, I feed and then they come like, you know, they want to be cuddled, but not at 11 o'clock normally they do their stuff they just like don't bother me at all i can sit here read book do my stuff they just don't come you know so there's a top tip then for anyone that wants yeah. to try hypnosis is <laughs> keep those cats away um the thing was though like so you found it difficult to go into the hypnosis at the beginning we did it with um a progressive muscle relaxation so we i tried to take you into the hypnosis through the through the meditation um but we kept going and uh, and then afterwards, we got you in a state which I guess was deeper than the alpha state going <laughs> then into the theta state um, where you were still able to focus and concentrate even with the cat jumping on your knee mm -hmm. occasionally. Um, I, even sorry to disrupt, but, but even that I'm like at that state, even the cat was not that much bothering, you know, like and yeah. I realized that you basically can concentrate yourself like like that much that even the cat sitting on your on your shoulders will not disturb that much you know i mean that what, was yeah yeah at, absolutely at yeah 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 once you go into the hypnotic state yeah it's the going in that's the difficult part because yeah. as you're going in you don't need the you don't you don't want any distractions uh, yeah but so. while you are in then neither cat nor neighbors nor noises they just don't bother you at all Exactly. Once you're in, if you stay focused, it's fine. Yeah. I prepared a session for you. It was the first time that I did uh, the session that we did together. Um, I've done it two more times since I've done it with Jesus uh, mm -hmm. and we filmed it. So I'm going to put that on YouTube. And uh, then, you mean online session? Uh, no, uh, um, I've, I've only done it with you as an online session so far. Yeah, okay. And then I did it with Jesus in person mm -hmm. here and we filmed yeah. it and I just did it again yesterday. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm calling it at the moment, finding uh, uh, the finding direction session. Mm -hmm. So maybe you could just, uh, uh, in your own words, just, just tell anyone that's watching this, why, why, what, what, what kind of were you looking for in that session? So what was kind of the issue and, and what, what did I kind of, why did I prepare something? Well, uh, the issue was about my choices because at the point where I lost myself and I didn't know uh, like where to go and what to do, what should I start my life with? Like, it's okay, the cat can hang around now. <laughs> That's fine now. <laughs> well, and it was difficult to make this decision whether I want to stay in Germany, whether I want to move somewhere else and which branch I want to work, what I want, what I generally want in my life. And, you know, I have people that surround me and give me different suggestions. Uh, but 
it's always difficult, you know, because to listen to someone because someone doesn't know what you want. And I knew very well that all the answers that I need are inside of myself, that I do know the answers for all my questions. The problem is that my brain is like 100% working and thinking, thinking, thinking. Then behind it, behind those thousands of thoughts, I just couldn't hear myself and couldn't hear my soul. Uh, someone call it intuition, soul, whatever you call it, doesn't matter. Like, I just couldn't hear it, you know? Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to... Um, how to say to reconnect recon or, to, or connect to, recon to shut down those thoughts and just to listen what i want to do because mm. i knew like i kind of i, I like i knew like everyone knows like, like the answer was inside of me and i knew mm. it very well i just couldn't hear it and uh, like because of this like uh, this session it helped me a lot just to keep down those thoughts, you know, and just to listen of, to my intuition and what I really want, you know. It, it was uh, it was also very work. So you, so you came into the session. Uh, I w it's been quite a long time that you've been kind of looking for for work now, um, yeah. <laughs> and and the situation seems to be not getting any better. No, it was it was not getting any better. You know, it was not so, just not yeah. like whatsoever. You know, <laughs> whatever so, so I tried, you, it just. Sorry, yeah. yeah, but so you originally came to me and kind of said, look, I just need some, I need some help finding the direction yep. for what job and where yeah. to live, kind of. So it was, it was work and career focused, work and wasn't career it? Work and career focus, yeah, yeah. yeah and that's, yeah, that's exactly. why it's so interesting what happened, yeah. I think. And so, before the session, yeah. uh, like spontaneous, just the day before the session, um, I got an email and it was an invitation for a phone call from a company but I was just like, I was quite excited because normally I, I do record what I send, to whom I send, what company this is, because like if they respond, you know, you have to know what it is because, you know, sometimes you just don't know. What. So I basically didn't find any information in my computer that I sent something to this company, but I just quite, kind of had the feeling, yeah, I mean, it's one of those, I don't know how you call it in English, Zeitarbeit firma. Uh, site uh, of yeah. I, I mean I understand the words time work I don't know it's like, like yeah 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 it's like like you like, like a contract like you work for the contract you have a short time yeah contract yeah and, uh, and short... you are sent some yeah something like this so I, yeah, it's not like I, short time contract so I kind of like word. was like mm, okay and um, actually yeah, the interview was exactly after the session. All right, but, but stop, stop, yeah. stop, because I, did, I didn't know any of this. All right. I didn't yeah, yeah, know I any didn't of tell this. you. No. So when we started the session, okay, so <laughs> I designed this session to put you into hypnosis. That was the bit that took a bit more work. Then we got you into the hypnosis. And, um, the, uh, and so I asked you to go to a room where there was uh, to imagine that there was a path. And then there was one going to the left was the past. The middle was the present and the right to the future and then i asked you to go down the path to the past and first of all just to go to a past memory or something in the past that would help you now something from all the different memories that you could choose with the help of your subconscious to choose a memory that is going to help you to make the right choices now something that you could use now um, to help you to, to to become healthier happier more joyful more free focused yeah. on this kind of job right and when you were there i asked you to experience the memory and then feel with your intuition and i helped you to kind of feel where your intuition is and to feel with your intuition what is that message so what was the memory and what was the yeah. message if you don't mind oh. share what you like <laughs> okay so like how it was um i started like the like I say, I started to check the memories from very early since I was a kid and I had a lot of issues in my life, a lot of losses, like some losses of my family and like closer and closer to the present time. And somehow uh, this memory that popped up was not from long time ago, like around 10 years ago. And it showed me the clear message, clear message, you know, that I have to stop to think about um, status like the 
how you call it in English? Yeah, like, like, Can you like help me? Status, yeah, getting a good. Uh, so, so. Yeah. Like to be concentrated on a position, yeah. like how high, how valuable it is. Like this is, and it showed me this memory from the past. It showed me how unimportant yes. it is, how unimportant it is to think that uh, you know you to be to feel good, to be happy. One has to have a very high position, you high know, position, like, high title. High title, status, exactly. status, and something like this, you know. Yeah. And I mean, it was so clear that you know was that connected with that memory. I mean, I really had a lot of stress in my life, and uh, you know, difficult situations. And somehow my memory didn't go there, like to show me, okay, maybe there's something connected with a past relationship, with the loss of my family members, and stuff like this. It was not. It just wasn't stopping there. And I was quite surprised, you know, and I realized, man, dang, and maybe it, it's really, you know, it's just like, but it is really what I, what I was concentrated on, you know, just to have something uh, yeah. maybe that is above and beyond, you know, what I need then. Yeah, well, because you, yours, I mean, you just mentioned that you thought it might come, it might be something else that would come up that that's the the great thing as well about this kind of uh, this content free it's called hypnosis that i do where you find the answers i don't tell you but um but yeah like when we did that first session and we cleaned out all that stuff that was intense that that would have been um a lot of that stuff to do with the past and those difficult times would have been released then and your subconscious at this point was helping you to, to fix this particular problem. Um, so I remember the memory, we won't talk about it, but yeah, so, uh, so yeah, so, so this particular problem was focusing on the job, not, not the job, because we all need money and we all need work, but focusing on the status, the profession, the, 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 the level, um, you know, like um, those kinds of things. Okay, so then we came back, yeah. then we went into the present, and then what I asked you to do was imagine that you go down a path in the present and there's lots of branches like a tree coming off that path. And every one of those branches is a different choice that you can make. And then I asked you, it's called parts therapy. So this is when I asked different parts <laughs> of your subconscious to talk to each other, bringing in the intuition again, because we, I once I'd introduced to you like how to feel and, and know where your intuition is, let's bring that in as well. And then just to make a list get rid of all the all the negative stuff from the list and then come up with one big thing from the list do you want to share what happened uh, <laughs> like that directly maybe no you know it's something private that i want to keep for me sure. but yeah it was it was something which is like i mean i was not even thinking about it at that point you know i i like was so concentrated on like career and making something you know uh, how to say the movable and unmovable stuff you know just like goods like to get like driving license maybe car apartments jobs you know all these were inside of it was inside of my head and this is what I was thinking about how to stay here you know how to get uh, documents and good paid job and stuff like this but I was never thinking about other part of my life and, uh, and yeah and the amazing thing and, was and the amazing thing was that my subconscious showed me that yeah. I'm concentrated on totally like different things that I don't have to be concentrated on the material stuff that much, you know? Well, it, yeah, but it showed you that for you to feel happier, uh, more kind of living life in the right direction, that there was something else that you'd kind of forgotten to yeah, Forgo yeah. forgotten to remember or another, another part. Remember, yeah. It's not like I'm not thinking about this, but it's not what I'm like. I, I didn't, I know that it brings happiness, but I was thinking that also career and job and uh, self-realization is going to make me happy, you know, but obviously, you know, something else can also. <laughs> you know? Cool. All right. We'll stop there because, um, yeah, the more we talk, the more information is going to slip out. So then we came back into the room 
and then we went into the future. And then when we went into the future, I asked you to imagine that you had taken this message from the past and taken this, um, uh, this uh, a choice from the present and you'd, you'd made use of the message and you'd uh, utilized, activated, take, actually done this choice and then to imagine how you look and how you feel. And, and what, was the, what was the feeling that you had when you saw yourself like, then in the future? <laughs> the feeling was that was the choice that I made on the middle road. In the future, I, like, I felt secure, I felt stable, I felt relaxed and something warm was there, you know, like, like I felt warm, you know? And the amazing thing right. about that is that by looking for the job and the status, you weren't actually just looking for money. You were actually looking for that security yeah. that's going security. to make you feel warm. Yeah. And that's what like a lot of people think that if they have money, like this is, this is like kind of a pattern that a lot of people think, you know, whenever you have a lot of money, whenever you have car, apartment and blah, 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 whatsoever, you will feel secure and stable. But maybe it's not, you know, <laughs> I mean, for me, obviously it's not. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, if it, yeah, the, the point is for you, because yeah, yeah, it, we can discuss what we, what we, <laughs> no, no, we can discuss what we believe. I, I totally, I mean, there's thousands of videos on YouTube about how money will not make you happy, but yeah, uh, or, or money, you know, money is not the key to happiness. It's proven in psychological studies, uh, you know, that the, the money does is not the key to happiness. But the thing is that, um, you, yeah, the security, you were, as many people do, were, were looking at, at, at the profession and the status. Uh, and it was showing you that, no, if you want to feel the security, you need to go in a different direction. So the end of the session was, um, <laughs> was basically, of course, you need a job. Of course, you need money. Yeah, but yeah. Shift that energy a little bit. So finding direction, that's why I'm calling this session at the moment, finding direction, shift that energy more to what your subconscious is telling you is the right direction for you. And then I said to you, watch how the universe, how everything will just start fitting together for you when you go more in the flow, more in that right direction for your own inner subconscious. And then the next day you sent me a WhatsApp message and you said, I might have some interesting <laughs> news. Yeah. <laughs> like I woke up like, you know, I knew that I have, a, in, uh, I, I knew that I would have yeah, interviewed me. the day, the next day, the day before. So like, it was so bad. It was so bad. Like, you know, lady called me like, okay, why do you want this job? Like, can you please, uh, what, uh, what, what are you best in? Like, what, how can you describe yourself? What, what is the bad in you? Like, and stuff like this. She didn't tell me anything, you know, about the company whatsoever. Uh, she didn't tell me if they're going to call me back or not. I just like, and she's like, okay, thank you very much. Bye. And I'm just like, hold on, hold on. Like, am I going to hear from you? Who are you? What's, what's going on? And she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We will keep in touch on you one day. And I'm just like, oh, come on. This, uh, I mean, another one, one of those, <laughs> you know? So it's just like, whatever. We'll, I don't we'll care. let you know. Yeah. Yeah. We'll let you know. I mean, whatever. I don't care, you know, whatever. So and it was early in the morning and after I decided to go with my cat to the veterinary because I have a kitten I, I I have a cat which is two and a half years with me and six months ago I got another one that you just saw now and those two cats they're not getting along with each other and my cat uh, that one was who is initially with me so she has a behavior problems and she's like whatever i'm not gonna tell you a lot about cats no she i can't just... I, I i i don't know, I, I don't know how to hypnotize cats so i can't do, i can't do anything about the cat's behavior problems at the moment maybe but, later but, next level so like i thought that she's in pain because whenever i want to touch she's like you know she's biting and making some noise and like you know i thought like come on i'm gonna go to the vet just show, just exclude that she's not in pain. So it was hard to pick her up. I pick her up. I went to the vet and yeah, it was nothing like, like you go to the doctor, there is nothing, you know, and uh, there is 
like it was a lady she's about 50 60 years old was very nice she would talk about cat and stuff like this and she gave me like calming pill you know and she said like oh, you know what it is kind of be do all like do you know what is this this is just like you do you have it at home i said like ma'am i'm not smoking you know i'm not i don't have this you know at home i don't use drugs and i know what it is and she's like no no like we start talking you know and i said i know what it is because i studied i'm like you know i studied forensic science and stuff like this and just somehow pop up this you know uh, she's like really i'm so surprised i said like do you need a co-workers here maybe you're looking for some and she's like yes i do i need someone immediately right now i'm just looking for some so she started talking you know to me explaining um what is the job about and she was so surprised you know that i have to high educations and that I'm looking for a job so much and she said like okay that's so cool I mean we're looking someone immediately and I'll call you back tomorrow in the evening and I was so happy I was so emotional about this but I didn't even know how to you know <laughs> I, I just I just had lack of words yeah you didn't want to uh, you didn't want to uh, get too excited uh, yeah yeah right, because right at I, the beginning yeah yeah, right. Because I didn't like it was so unexpected. I was thinking before to 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 like to apply to veterinary, you know, just to have some like uh, a helper or whatever. But I, my education is in totally different field, so I know that in Germany I just couldn't apply, you know, for this. And I had this thought just not long ago, you know, I said that I spent so much time here to learn forensic and it would be so cool, you know, within this time I could already graduate a medical university uh, and I was thinking about that, you know. So, so this woman was offering you a job uh, in and I was just to, like to, to yeah, do yeah. with the veterinary to do with the vet yeah to do like I mean it, firstly it is in a reception so I will have to you know just to make arrangement for appointment to give some pills so basically I like the woman called me back not even in the evening she called me in one hour or two hours she said like can you come on Friday at two o'clock so I went there and they were so friendly and they showed me everything they said that at the beginning i'll have to do like all this organizational stuff you know phone calls emails just to give appeals to like like if the people come something against these things you know for the animals and then with the time they're gonna teach me how to make a teeth cleaning to do operations like not the operation but assisting the operation you know like to prepare all the stuff to do like ultrashall and everything what is connected like what people so do, it's like. a complete <laughs> i mean it's like, linked it's linked to what you've done before but it's kind of a complete almost a complete career change moving into yeah, yeah, yeah. It is complete, looking after yeah. animals <laughs> yeah and i was like i was dreaming to look after animals you know i love animals <laughs> that much that was just so unexpected for me and like moreover she said like why don't you want like and she asked me do you want like to be a tier arts uh, 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 vet tier arts uh, is a yeah, vet yeah, veterinarian yeah i'm sorry like she said do you want to be a vet i said like i i, I don't know i have two educations I, I will not be able maybe to do another six years but she said like oh come on give it the time you try here to work here a little bit so maybe like if you decide we're gonna like you're gonna work here you're gonna study at the same time so we can some kind of support you with this you yeah, know and I, was like, huh? <laughs> I was just like oh my god you know yeah i mean the salary is a little bit not that uh, was like not that much up to my expectation i wanted to like you know i wanted to earn a bit more i thought that i my service would cost a bit more than they offered me i have to be honest mm. so it's not what i expected yeah it's mm. a bit less mm. and at the same time i realized that my brain was thinking you know like hey like where is gonna lead you? you 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 know you're gonna get much less than i you ex like that i expected and at this like how to say at the same time it made me feel a bit upset and frustrated but on the other point i say like come on man nobody within one year nobody offers anything to me and these people they offer me a job they offered me a contract unlimited contract with which i can get unlimited visa you know for mm. germany so i will not have this any kind of problems you know like making and changing it all the time and i was just like 
yeah, it's and such it, a good an opportunity, at least for the start, you know, at least for the start. And it came to me just from nowhere, you know, just spontaneously after the session, you know, I was looking so hard and so bad for it, you know, just trying, you know, going, calling and stuff like this. And nobody even answered. And this just pop up from nowhere, just because I shifted a little bit of like my how to say my concentration, my, 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 my focus, energy, yeah, energy. Yeah. my focus, you know, I shifted it and it came just right away. And I some, was just like, so excited about it. You know, I start people, actually on Monday. So, <laughs> you know, yeah, super. Yeah. I mean, it was, uh, yeah. I mean, literally we're talking what, four days ago. So uh, three days ago, you said that you might have uh, so the day after the session, you went to the vet, the day after the session, this woman offered you this job. And then the day after that, uh, you confirmed that you got it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna. Was, they say like I'm gonna do it one week. Uh, just a yeah trial. Call, prob yeah. trial, trial, yeah, trial. And on Monday, like if I like it and if everything goes well, I'm on next Monday. I'm gonna get a contract already. So, I mean, it was supersonic fast. You know, I mean, I just so. Yeah. So some people would. Some people watching this might just say, oh, "I was just a coincidence." who knows don't think could be so. a coincidence okay <laughs> but from my experience from my life the more that we live in synchronization with our own subconscious our own intuition the more that everything just falls into place it's been happening yeah. to me now for so long that i used to say to friends uh, when i was um, in my 20s i'd say Maybe one day I'm going to fall down on my face, but until then, I'm just going to keep following my intuition. I'm not going to, you know, plan and think, just follow my intuition. I don't say that anymore because the more that we just stay in synchronization with our, just listening to our intuition, following our subconscious, everything falls into place. And the amazing thing for you is that the message in the session was, you know, status is, uh, uh, is, is not the most important thing self-love in a way is is uh, is is more important and then the next day wasn't exactly the message self-love it was more specific yeah. than that but still kind of linked to self-love and then the next day um this woman said you know we're not going to pay you as much as you thought but how about how about the possibility to retrain in something else that you love to do yeah yeah that's like you know and I, I really wanted to be a vet, you know, I really want, it's not like I was ever thinking about because medicine is something very difficult. So I kind of back in my mind, I cut this possibility because, you know, yeah. And third education. <laughs> yeah, we know in Germany and education takes a long time. <laughs> yeah. And six years is just what it's uh, supposed to be. It can take you up to 10 years and like whatsoever, but you know, and I was just thinking, you know, I'm, I was just running to get this well-paid job, like, you know, like high status job and stuff like this. And I'm just, you know, how to say, I rely on world, on universe. It may bring me something good for the beginning. I'm not going to make a panic out of less money that I'm um, that I wanted to have, you know, mm. may be what it be. And it will it will show one day, you know, and I, I, I just like, I have feeling that it's a right choice, you know, I had such a positive emotions being there coming there for the interview, talking with these people, you know, how friendly they were. And I was really, really surprised and it was so unexpected to me because I had an interviews before and it was so dry, you know, like, you know, mm -hmm. Skype call six people like this watching at me and me trying to say something, you know, and just like. And this okay. was much more kind of, I don't know, a spur yeah. of the moment, imagine yeah. like more, more like real, I don't know, exciting. Yeah. Okay, let me ask you then, because one of the things we wanted to do in the session was to help you to kind of feel and connect to your intuition. So it's difficult for people that have an active mind. Year, this is um, a, a passion of mine because um, years and years and years ago, I, I was such a thinker all the time, thinking, thinking that I would annoy myself because I was yeah. thinking so much. And it got to the point where 
like in my life story, I was just unhappy and uh, wanted to find out how to be happy. And I found meditation. Um, so now after the session, I wanted to just say, like, do you feel more connected to your intuition? But first, I want to say, like, if you take a deep breath and then let it go and just let those thoughts relax do you now feel that you have a bit more of a connection to that intuition yeah yeah i definitely feel i i do feel and I, i'm honest like saying yes to this job i felt that that i do a right thing you know i didn't even have a back thought maybe i should say no maybe i'll find something better and what if what if i don't like what if, there can be thousands of what if but i i felt something here inside that i do a right thing for me it's it, this is a the, it's a small beginning but the beginning of something good that may lead me to the point where i want to be you know but follow that intuition yeah not your head and i promise mm -hmm. you from my own experience everything works out to the point that you don't even worry anymore about what's going to happen tomorrow my head i've told you before my head is telling me to go down to algarve where it's nice and sunny yeah. <laughs> but my intuition says stay in porto stay where you are this is the perfect place for you right now and so i'm listening to my intuition and i'm not going down south and it's amazing what's happening where I am right now. Just everything falling into place for me. Yeah. So I'm so, so happy for you that this happened. It was, I mean, it was amazing. And also um, Fabian, who you didn't meet, I think, but- mm, I don't think so. But he Is did, the guy Portuguese? No, he's from Germany and he's no. done a testimonial as well on, the, on, my, on my YouTube um i have not I, I not, take a look <laughs> he had a well he had another he had an experience as well after the session which somebody could call a coincidence um and it's not my place to share that that situation unless he wants to share it but uh but basically like from having the emotional cleaning session to kind of getting to the point where he just emotionally cleaned himself there was an incident and pff, uh, did it himself Again, could be a, a complete coincidence, but yeah, these, no. <laughs> these, uh, these experiences of people that are having these sessions, clearing out the crap, uh, and then having experiences um, that are coincidences. Let's see if if there's more and more and more of these coincidences. So maybe then, they're not coincidences. Then maybe they're not coincidences. I mean. Yeah, if more yeah, and more. Because too happen. much coincidences. I, I I don't think it is. You know, I mean, I went to Porto. wasn't even expected. You know, I wasn't even expecting that I would go there. We booked another hotel. Somehow we end up in that hotel. I could have been in my room. I could have like spent some time outside. I don't know. We just start talking and yeah we did one session i could have said no to online session i could have been busy with something else it you, could have well, you, you it could were, have gone differently yeah, you know yeah, yeah. well you were not sure uh, for both of the sessions right you were a bit yeah. unsure with the first one as well <laughs> yeah. um but you went with it that was i guess also listening to your intuition rather than your head because yeah. your head is like oh, I don't my know. head was I telling me come on man. what this guy is telling me crap you know come on man. what he's gonna teach what he's gonna do you know like these things were like were in my head i mean i to be honest you know i'm all I'm, most of the time i'm like this you know first my head has to say no to everything then i'm gonna you know slowly slowly i'm gonna you know. yeah yeah. need to calm down my thoughts and okay maybe this is a good idea you know well whenever whenever that thinking is just getting too much take one or two really deep breaths and then let it go and then try and connect to the intuition because those big deep breaths they take us deeper you know when we do the hypnosis at the beginning it's starting with those deep breaths because that just relaxes us and takes us a bit it just taking deep breaths kind of um shuts off the thinking a little bit it, it, it deactivates that default mode network a little bit so that we can connect a bit more so yeah 
So in those moments where it's like chugga, 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 just it'll help. Yeah. Somehow now I feel that I have so much emotions here. It's just like exploding. And I'm so I would say I'm overexcited right now. My brain doesn't work that much, but I just like all over the emotions. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know, it's such a nice feeling. I haven't had it for such a long time. You know, it's so pleasant. And yeah, enjoy it. Enjoy <laughs> it. Yeah. I'm also yeah. feeling, you know, like I don't know if I was saying to Jesus, Jesus downstairs, I was saying, like, I don't know if when I do the, I guess with more experience, I'll know better, but I don't know if doing these sessions, something gets transferred to me because I feel different after the session or whether it's just the feeling of just helping people. But I also have a bit of what you're describing, you know, full of energy, full of kind of life. Um, yeah, it's, it's an amazing, um, um, yeah, when you've got that, sensation that you know you feel alive and full of energy then enjoy every second of it go mm -hmm. with it absolutely yeah. cool you get you eugenia so mm -hmm. two days tomorrow you've got another day the day of rest sunday and then monday monday it all yeah. picks off yeah i'll see how it's gonna go Very exciting. yeah yeah <laughs> well I mean, I'm definitely going to find out how it goes. I want to know. I don't know if we're going to do another video on this unless anybody wants to, unless anybody comments in the video that they want to know how it goes. Um, yeah, we, we, we can do the session. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm not, I'm not so, uh, I'm not, uh, yeah, I don't want to be kind of doing update, update, update of YouTube on somebody's life. But if somebody is interested, then certainly I'll let you know. Otherwise, I'm going to keep in contact with you for sure uh, definitely. and, and uh, find out uh, how things go. And um, yeah, if anybody wants to try hypnosis with me, please go to robita.info. You can message me by email or WhatsApp. And um, yeah, fantastic. All right. I'll stop this video now and then yeah. we can just continue and have a little chat.